Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to the seventh episode on the Hermitcraft Hermit Pack server. We are back today my friends and once again, just want to thank you guys for the support you showed in the previous episode, reaching nearly 600 likes, which is super appreciated. Don't forget guys, if you want to show your support, if you are still hyped for Hermit Pack and the modded Minecraft content, do be sure to drop a like rating. But in today's episode my friends, as you can see in my search bar right here, we are going to be making a bit of a power upgrade to solar panels because I would really like to have a continuous supply of, uh, of power coming into our base instead of continuing to go through our coal supply which by the way isn't looking so hot I had to go mining for a bunch of coal before this episode started so yeah we're gonna go ahead and start off by putting some stuff in the generator right there we're gonna make sure that all of this is off all right so we've got our grid and we've got to turn this on we don't need the solder so we're not gonna go ahead and use it so yeah anyways I digress we've got ourselves some iron ingots which is something we do need which is kind of cool so I'm gonna go and turn that off right now uh so how much does this use? 2 RS per tick. That's actually not that much. Huh. Okay. So, looking at the solar panel recipe, it looks pretty dang simple. All you need to do is go ahead and put some coal in a macerator to get some coal dust, get some glass, get some electronic circuits, and of course, some generators. Uh, this might be the slightly more difficult part. So, basic machine casing. Uh, do you know what? Most of this should be pretty simple to do. I mean, I want to have Ideally like an array of like nine so maybe like a three by three formation And I kind of want to make it look like a proper solar panel You know how proper solar panels in real life when uh, when freestanding they're sort of in a diagonal direction I kind of want to go for that so yeah, that is what I am going to attempt to do anyway So we're going to start off by getting ourselves some iron plates uh, Let's go and get ourselves 16 of them. All right, so then what do we need? We need ourselves uh, iron furnace, basic machine casing. So we're going to go with the basic machine casing route. So basic machine casing. Wait, hang on. Is this going to be a proper generator? Yeah, industrial craft 2 generator. Cool, okay. I was just a bit worried about uh, if I was going to get this thing completely messed up and wrong. So uh, yeah, again, reminding ourselves of RE batteries, tin item casing. So let's go and grab ourselves some, uh, some tin ingots. Or I like to call them tingots. We're going to use the tingots to make ourselves a bunch of plating and some casing. There we go, and then all we need is some redstone. Wait, is that all the redstone we have? For real? Sure, we have more redstone. All right, let's turn that on real quick. Oh, we do have more redstone. Okay, cool. I was just gonna say that was a bit uh, that was a bit worrying right there. Huh. Okay, so what else do we need? We need ourselves some uh, some batteries, which means tin insulated cable or tin insulated cable, as I like to call it. <laughs> tin in. It just makes sense to combine the words, doesn't it? Ah. Uh, RE battery. Boom. Oh, I should be able to make two, right? Uh, why does that keep going in there, the storage housing? That's really, really strange. Okay, and all we need is a... Let's have a look real quick. Just a regular generator. We just need ourselves a regular furnace. So, yeah, this should be really, really simple to make. So, let's go ahead and get this thing rocking. Boom. And generator. Two of them, please. Uh, yep, there we go. That's one. And that's two. Wait, how have I only just got that achievement? I don't even know, man. I've, I've already made myself a generator for what you want about me. I don't even know what's going on, dude. All right. <laughs> anyway, uh, I digress. Let's go ahead and make ourselves some circuits. Wait, they require iron plates now? I could have sworn they only needed, like, refined iron ingots before. Huh. Okay. Well, apparently you need something different this time. Interesting. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get some of these things created, huh? Alrighty guys, got ourselves the electronic circuits. Turns out I was looking at the wrong circuits. I can of course still make them in this fashion. It just turns out that the alternate recipe requires some plates. So yeah, well that doesn't matter a great deal. We do have ourselves an electronic circuit, which is pretty awesome. So we've got the generator, electronic circuits. We need to get ourselves some glass. And finally, we need to put some coal through a macerator right here. There we go. That's going to give us coal dust. And then we should pretty much be good to go, which is going to be pretty freaking awesome. In the meantime, I'm just in the process of clearing out the smeltery of the clear glass, which as you can see is made from putting glass into a smeltery. So yeah, that's kind of cool. And again, I like how you can like smoothly visually see it turning into clear glass. It's really, really awesome. Alright, so let's go in here real quick. We've got some coal dust, which is awesome. And I think I might need a little bit more in terms of fuel. Uh, right, hang on. Uh, there we go. 
Sweet. Uh, I think what might be a worthwhile thing to do is making a bat box. Uh, bat box storage 40,000 EU. That's kind of awesome. Okay, so we have a, if we have tin insulated cable, do we have any tin cable? Uh, nope. I think we can make some though, right? If I get the wire cutters out, I should be able to go ahead and try to get this thing going. So tin ingot. Boom. Oh, that's right now. I need to make it into tin plate first and then do this. There we go. Tin cable. Awesome. Okay. And if we just go ahead and grab ourselves out some rubber. There we go. I'm just going to transform this into tech reborn rubber. Awesome stuff. We should now be able to make ourselves some of those, which is awesome. And a bat box requires batteries. In fact, I'm going to need like four of those. So I might actually need to make myself some more tin, uh, some more tin wires. Insulated tin wires. There we go. Awesome. Nice one. Oh, man. That's the thing with modded. There's so many recipes to try and remember. It's actually kind of crazy. So, yeah, we're going to need some more redstone and tin item casing. So, I need to try and calculate this real quick. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. And then that's going to make it into casing. Awesome stuff. And it should be a case of we do this. And we should now be able to make ourselves three RE batteries. There we go. Wait. Wait, they stack? Oh, awesome, they stack. Sweet. Okay, so if they're empty, they actually stack. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so now all I need to do is get some wood out. So let me just do that real quick. And I should now be able to make a bat box, right? Yeah, sweet, man. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Stash it. I will indeed stash it, my friend. All right, so we now need to try and find a place to go ahead and store our power. Hmm. Maybe, like, behind here. Uh, able to sleep. Yeah, one Okay, Biffle wants us to sleep, so that is fantastic. Let's just go ahead and uh, head to our bed real quick. There we go. And, uh, yeah, it's time for a well-deserved break, I think. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> there we go. Oh, what the hell, man? A blooming... What, is that, like, me... Is that, like, a simulation of me waking up with a headache or something? I don't even know, man. That's kind of funny. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and start making ourselves some solar panels. The time has come, my friends. Oh, freaking you, man. We got ourselves two solar panels. Freaking awesome. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and start placing these things down. And, uh, hmm. I'm just trying to think. What might be a cool idea is if I make it, like, coming off the side here? Uh, yeah, I'm kind of liking that idea, actually. So if I perhaps... Uh, let me just go ahead and make my way up here real quick. So if I just head up here. And, oh, man. I don't want to have to dig all that out. That's a long way up. It really is a long way up. It's actually kind of crazy. Okay, uh, well, I might just do it anyway. I might just dig all the way up there just so I could put the solar panels to the side here. I think that'd be a cool idea. Yeah. Oh, crap. Okay, right. Let's go and uh, dig out a little bit of this mountain, shave some bits off, and uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see about putting down some solar panels, huh? All right, guys, the time hath come. We are now going to start placing in these solar panels. And I'm rather hoping that this bat box will do the job. If I go ahead and place it, um, where should I place it? Like facing that way? Is that how it works? Can I like start store? Oh, wait, what? Armor? Why has it got armor in there? Is that armor I'm wearing currently? I think it might be actually cool. Okay, right. Uh, I don't know if I've actually placed that correctly, so I might need to go and pick it back up real quick. Uh, bat box. I need to try and figure out how exactly it works. So we've got the bat box. We've got that going out there. And okay, so so this bit I assume is going to be the output. So where does the input go in? Or is this the input? Actually, I think this might be the input. In which case, uh, how do I place it so the input is facing down? It's doing it that way. Okay, that's absolutely fine and dandy. So I need to go ahead and get underneath this thing and try to place it down. Okay, let's just see how we do with this. All right, so let's try, if I go ahead and place a block right here, I should be able to do this. Sweet, okay, okay, okay. I think I've got that pretty much under wraps. Nice one. Okay, so now if I place these solar panels down, will it actually work? Boom, boom. Okay, solar panel, uh, what does this do? I don't know, man. All right, let's have a look real quick. Oh, it's actually doing something. Sweet. It's doing something. My bat box is doing something, and it's amazing. Oh, this is so freaking awesome. Okay, so all the coal dust is done. Do I have anything in here that's on currently? I don't think I do. Oh, the solder and the disk drive. Wait, what? Oh, I need to... Yeah, that's right. I only work with redstone signal. Duh. That's what I need to do. So now... If I go ahead and do this, uh, the grid, I need to go and put back on redstone mode. Only work with redstone signals. So, yeah, now now it's going to start storing this thing up, which is awesome. So, let me just uh, let me just see how this goes. 
once it goes ahead and gets full, what should happen is my back box should start filling up, right? So, there we go. Uh, oh, that's got 32,000. I thought it only had 30k. Huh. Well, whatever the case, let's just go outside real quick. I want to see if my uh, little solar array thingy is actually working. So, let's just head up here real quick. And we should see momentarily that this is... Oh, there we go. It's actually starting to fill up now. Oh, that's freaking awesome, man. Yeah. That's sweet. Okay. And like I said, I want to have a 3x3 array of these things. So, I think I'm going to need to do a lot of mining to go ahead and get myself enough materials to actually make a 3x3 array. So... Yeah, it's going to take a long time, my friends, but I really do want to do it, so I'm not going to skimp out on you guys. So, yeah. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to start transferring some of my stuffs into into the storage system over here. Because, yeah, we kind of need to, right? Yeah. Alright, we're going to start off with the valuable stuff. Alright, so I thought I'd bring you guys back here just to show you this. Look at the size of this glowstone mound, man! Jeez! There is a serious amount of glowstone going on there, man. Holy crap. I'm absolutely grabbing all of that before anybody else does. Because that is going to be very, very useful for all of our machines. Oh, my lord. It's glowstone city. Look at all of the drops here, man. What even is this? That was quite simply the biggest glowstone man I've ever seen in my entire life. That is just craziness. All right, got some more down here. Got some up here, got some up around here, and yeah, man, how much did we get? So, just to clarify, I found a small glowstone man before, and I got one stack from it. So, we got a whopping seven and a half stacks of glowstone dust from that bit right there. That's just ridiculous. That's crazy. That's going to be more than enough to last us for a long time. Wait, what the heck is this? What? That's not a, that's not a normal zombie. Is that like a female zombie? I don't get it. Well, I killed her, but I didn't get anything special from it, so... Hello, man! It's kind of crazy. Alright, I need to try and find my way back now. Alrighty, guys. So, we're now in the process of doing some strip mining, and I'm primarily focusing on going ahead and getting iron, and we're pretty much going until this pickaxe runs out. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, tin is always appreciated. I would definitely pick some of that up. Nice one. Uh, got a nice stockpile of coal. In fact, pretty much a nice stockpile of everything, to be honest with you guys. Uh, so, yeah. As you saw right there, uh, pickaxe just ran out, so that will mark the end of this particular mining session. Obviously, I've left a bunch of ores behind because they're not stuff I immediately need. I will, of course, come back for them at some point. But, uh, yeah, for now, my friends, we've got ourselves uh, over a stack of iron. We have ourselves a bunch of bauxite, tin, copper, coal, redstone, and, uh, well, just a generic bunch of epic stuff that we need to go ahead to make ourselves the solar panel array. So, we need to head back up top. We need to get our food situation sorted because I've only got three hunger bars. And then we need to go ahead and start getting the solar array built. So yeah, let's get this thing done. We're going to do it in the form of a bit of a sort of crafting, smelting, montage thingy. Because apparently you guys were saying that our ores will be tripled if we put them inside a uh, smeltery. So that's pretty awesome. We'll go ahead and of course give that a go. And uh, yeah, aside from that, we're going to go ahead and do some prep work. And I'll bring you guys back in just a mo. Alrighty guys, for the sake of clarification, there are currently 18 bits of iron ore inside of our smeltery. And it's going to give us 6 blocks worth. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, that is tripled. Yeah, because uh, obviously 6 times 9 is uh, 50, 54, so 18 times 3 is 54. So, that's pretty awesome, man. We get ourselves triple, triple blooming out, output from that. That's awesome. Okay, so what if... Here's a theory. What if I go ahead and macerate some stuff first and then put that in? So if we put some crushed copper ore in there, for example, if I do you know what, I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to go and put this inside of my storage system. Let's flip it on and we can actually start placing a whole bunch of stuff in here, to be honest. As you can see, we just have a simply ridiculous amount of stuff we need to put away. So there we go. Nice one. And yeah, we want the iron and we want to try and see if we can macerate it down real quick and then see how the crushed iron ore uh, you know, see how that goes. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. Ah, okay, so we can't put crushed iron ore inside of a smeltery, unfortunately. Dang it, man, I thought I would be able to come up with some 
like some new epic great way of doing this, but unfortunately that's not the case. So in which case I better go and get the crushed stuff out of here real quick because we can't actually do anything with it aside from smelt it. So yeah, there we go. And let's get that put in there. And yep, yeah, uh, we're pretty much just gonna, like I said, do a bit of a montage. So yeah, let's get this thing done. Aha, so check it out guys, I've gone ahead and taken out the furnace controller and the tank controller because apparently you guys were saying I was uh, using it wrong, so I replaced them with seared bricks and as a result we have increased amount of capacity for this thing, so we can now put in 27 bits of iron ore at once, opposed to just 18, so again, productivity increased, which is very, very cool. I feel like I should make another base in though, so I think I might go ahead and uh, give that a roll, alright, let's see if we can do this, hopefully I actually have enough, in fact it's just this isn't it, there we go. Uh, basin. Sweet! So we can get ourselves two blocks at once. Sweet! Nice one. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think the time has come. So we're going to start off by making ourselves a bunch of generators. We're going to need seven of them, so we're going to need to go through and systematically do that. There we go, so we've got seven generators. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come to get ourselves seven more solar panels. I'm freaking hyped about this. Like, I'm unbelievably hyped to get this thing going, my friends, because, uh, yeah, I've been, uh, I've been mining quite a lot this episode. I've been getting materials quite a lot this episode, and to actually have my plans come to fruition at long freaking last. I'm freaking hyped, dudes. All right, so let's head over to our small solar array and let's expand the bugger. All right, so here's what's going to happen. We're going to have ourselves... They're going to go there, so we're going to need cables like uh, here, I do believe. There we go. So we can have ourselves another one there, one there, one there, one there, and then one there, one there, and one there. So, ladies and gentlemen, check it out. We've got an array of nine solar panels. What is that going to do for our power supply? Let's just have a quick look at it real quick. Get off me, bro. There you go. Get wrecked, and let's get into our bed. Hell yeah, man. The time has come to see if this thing actually works and works well. Alright, so let's head back over to the generator. Obviously the macerator is going currently, so I'm thinking we go ahead and take that out. And uh, yeah, so now nothing is powering, so... Oh, look at that, man! That's awesome! Look at the amount of power it's generating! That's incredible! Okay, so if we put this back in here, how's it gonna do? It's still generating even though we're actually using the energy! Okay, so what if I go ahead now... Oh, hang on. I chucked my sword away like a dum-dum. What if I go ahead and turn on and keep on this? Alright, so let's see how it goes now. Is it going to absolutely drain the heck out of the energy? Yes, it is. It is going to drain the absolute heck out of it. Ah, dang it. Alright, so we're going to have to still switch this off when we're not actually using it. Okay, well, that's absolutely fine and dandy. And you can see also I've gone ahead and I've upgraded the smeltery once again to include a couple more basins. And uh, we've got the ingot cast right there, which is kind of cool. So, yeah. Everything is looking good, my friends. Everything is looking freaking awesome. We've got 13 blocks of iron now, which is absolutely amazing. I'm really, really happy with that. So, I think the last thing I want to do in today's episode, my friends, is I want to go and try and make myself an electric jetpack. That's right, my friends. I want to make the move to go ahead to basically fly, I guess. We need to get ourselves uh, some RE batteries. We can make three of these now. Again, why is it doing that? It puts uh, it puts some arrows in my inventory. How strange. Okay, right, bat box. Should be able to make it. There we go. And jetpack. Hey, we can make a jetpack. Sweet! We got a jetpack, ladies and gentlemen. This is freaking awesome. All right, so now we just need to go ahead and like charge it up, right? So let's put it in here. And yeah, there we go. It's starting to charge itself up. All right, let's wait until it's fully charged and let's get this thing on the road. All right, guys, I think the time has come. So let's go into our bat box really quick and let's see how that's doing. It's fully charged. Oh my God, this is going to be the best thing since sliced bread. Here we go, my friends. Oh, I'm freaking flying, baby. That's amazing. Okay. Oh, can we like, uh, can I like not do that? All right, let's, uh, let's see how it does. Eh, uh, I mean, it's an okay source of flight, but it doesn't go very fast, that has to be said. Whee! Flying is amazing! Ah, oh, freaking yeah! <laughs> That's so cool. Ah, right, let's see how much uh, energy we used. Okay, 28.4. Whee! Now we can get up here with absolute ease! Wait, what the heck is going on here? What is that? Owl egg? Wait, there's owls in this game? What the heck? I've never seen these guys before. There's two of them. 
An owl egg? Yo! I can make a potion of rising? What? That's amazing. I can make potions of rising. That's incredible, man. That is so freaking sweet. Yeah, man. Uh, let's just have a quick look at how to make a recycler because that thing is going to be pretty okay. Uh, compressor. Uh, this should be pretty simple to make. So if I just go ahead and get some diorite out, for example, I'm pretty sure it said we can use like any stone. So recycler, we need a compressor, which is basic machine casing, you know, pretty simple stuff. So yeah. Let's quickly go and make a recycler just to finish off the episode, shall we? All right, there's the machine casing. There's the electronic circuit. There's the compressor. And finally, there is the recycler. Hell yeah, man. We got ourselves a recycler. I'm pretty happy about it because it means we can essentially go ahead and scrap a bunch of items and get little scrap boxes out of them. So let's do a little bit of this. And this will go down here. And there we go, recycler. So for example, if I put some granite in there because it is one of the least good looking blocks in the world, we could start recycling it, and sometimes it will give us scrap. I'm not sure how often it actually does it. I don't know what the percent drop chance is. Nothing yet. Huh, interesting. All right, what if I put some cobblestone in there? Huh, okay. Well, do I have, like, any other scrap blocks that I don't think I'll use? Uh, maybe some of that. Uh, wall diorite. Get out of it, diorite. No one wants you, man. Jeez. What the hell? It's an ugly ass block. Why would anybody want it? That's the question I'm putting to you guys. It's a disgusting looking block. I completely understand where Iskal is coming from. Alright. Hey! There we go. Got some scrap. So basically what you do with the scrap is you can go ahead, you can either make fertilizer with it, or you can make yourself a scrap box. And the scrap box, of course, for those of you guys who don't know, you could just open it up and it will give you something out of here. Maybe it be an ender pearl or a steak or, well, pretty much anything from this menu here. I mean, just look at it, man. We can even get diamonds from it. That's pretty awesome. Slime balls, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, a filled tin can, again, cool. Iron ore, yeah, that'd be appreciated. Single-use battery. Rubber, uh, pumpkins, cooked steak, gold, you know, there's a bunch of awesome stuff you can get with it, so, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna try and get myself a scrap box and we'll end the episode with opening it. Alright guys, here we go, nine bits of scrap, let's make it into a scrap box, and here we go, right click it, and boof! It's a piece of rotten flesh. Well, it's to be expected. More often than not, you're going to get junk from those things. But, oh well, better than nothing. And, you know, we have a way of getting ourselves little scrap boxes and, you know, pretty pretty interesting stuff. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with the fact that we can just scrap things for goodies now. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, especially if we have, like, a bunch of cobblestone we could put it in there. Uh, three more bits of scrap. Hey, nice one. All right, I'm going to go and put the scrap. I'm going to put the scrap in the storage system because uh, why not? There we go. As you can probably tell by now, I'm using this for valuable storage more than anything. So I'm going to put that in there, that in there. Uh, shears can go in there as well. Uh, monster jerky and actually pretty much everything else uh, we can keep on us. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, on that epic note, it is time to win the episode. We have done a lot of epic stuff today, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do be sure to drop a like rating if you did. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But, guys, we've got jetpacks. We've got recyclers. We've got an upgraded smeltery. We've done all sorts of epic stuff. And, of course, the main monster itself. Ah, okay, I'm not going over there. The main monster itself, the solar array. I'm pretty happy with it, my friends. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate your continued support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.